My name is Brigadier General George Sears Green, reportedly being the oldest battlefield commander of the Union Army, being well into my 60s during the Battle of Gettysburg. I was originally born in Apanag, Rhode Island in 1801, just after the turn of the last century. And I grew up in a well-to-do family until uh, the embargo of 17 or 1807 and the uh, resulting uh, War of 1812 uh, family was on hard times. So I ended up uh, not going to Brown University as I intended, but uh, got into a dry goods store in New York City on my own where I met Sylvania Thayer actually Major Sylvania Thayer, superintendent of West Point, who got me into West Point in 1819. Graduated second in my class of 35 in 1823. They kept me on because I was such a good mathematician and engineer, and I ended up teaching Bobby Lee, as we learned to call him, mathematics so I got tired of the uh, peacetime army after the death of my families at uh, Fort Stanley in Eastport Maine I got out of the army and got into engineering got into railroading building uh, the railroads aqueducts and my famous uh, project was working on the Croton Aqueduct and Reservoir in what became uh, uh, the Central Park. And the high, uh, the high uh, bridge aqueduct uh, over the uh, Harlem River. And when that was pretty much completed, President Lincoln asked for more volunteers. We had the war. I couldn't stay away. After the death of my family, I had nothing else going on. So I ended up uh, joining the uh, sixth, well, was offered the 60th New York. And uh, being old, they thought I was a little too old, but uh, I knew how to uh, handle the uh, sand hogs and stuff during my engineering days uh, working on the reservoir and such that uh, they gained. Uh, my uh, respect as they got my respect because uh, just uh, too ma so many ethnics fighting each other but whipped them with drill I whipped them into shape and uh, ended up uh, first uh, battle was Cedar Mountain then it was uh, did a good job at uh, Appomattox and then at Chancellorsville and uh, then uh, we had the uh, so-called Gettysburg campaign where on the second day we arrived early in the morning after seeing and hearing what happened to the 1st and 11th Corps at first light I could not yeah, I started building breastworks and f chopped down trees head logs we did the whole thing and got very firm defenses because uh, I knew uh, how to work for my engineering, uh, what would save lives. I didn't want my boys routed like the 1st and 11th happened. So, General Sedgwick and, De and uh, Geary were not pleased with that, but they didn't say don't do it. Because usually you build defenses and then as soon as you build them, you're gone, you move elsewhere. But. The rest of Candy and uh, Kerry, they uh, took note. Everybody got busy, they took their mind off what was coming and uh, built very good defenses. However, later in the day with the Third Corps' interesting positioning that scared General Meade so much that uh, he was pulling all of us from all over. He, he decided to pull the entire 12th Corps out where I was the uh, second, uh, second brigade. 
and uh, but General Sedgwick he convinced General Meade to at least leave one unit which happened to be my unit I knew that was a risky thing but what can you do generals are generals so as it was Allegheny Johnson he got wind of what was going on plus he was supposed to coordinate with Longstreet and later in the afternoon that's when he decided to attack and uh, that uh, kind of we had uh, 1300 men versus 5,000 of them now I was I had to call for first Corps and uh, 11th Corps you know, people to come over to help out and uh, was able to get an extra 750 men where I was able to uh, rotate my ranks in and out clean your weapons at uh, nutrition and uh, ammunition and then back and forth was able to keep the uh, sesh off ourselves for quite a while until it got pretty dark because when uh, General Geary and the rest of the 12th came back it got dark I mean we were couldn't see each other we we're just fighting at the uh, firing at the flashes through the trees but uh, there is so much uh, death by uh, friendly fire and, uh, and the 12th walking into their old defenses now occupied by uh, Johnson's men. We spent the night waiting for light so we could get the sesh out of our trenches down below. And that's the way we ended it that, uh, the night of uh, the second day.